Not long ago, two of my boys got in trouble and Mama Don tore down the boys' privileges to play video games. She removed their attention from the simple pleasure and took the video game controllers captive. It was a deserving uh, consequence, of course, but, but I will admit that it hurt me a little bit also. You see, I like to play video games with them from time to time, so this restricted me from spending time with them. This is what sin does, though. It brings about consequences that separate us from our God. Oh, the glorious day the boys could play again, and I was with them. In a way, this is the story of Ezra 1. This is the first of the books of restoration. Israel had been captivity for 70 years in Persia because of their sin. Jerusalem and the temple of God were both in ruins, but their time of punishment was over and they were allowed to return home. At the beginning of Ezra 1, we have King Cyrus, the king of Persia, making an amazing proclamation. Not only does he proclaim the God of Israel, but commissioned Israel's return home and Jerusalem's rebuilding. He encouraged all the peoples to help them with this rebuilding, and he gave them back all the articles that were robbed from the temple 70 years prior. What makes Ezra 1 so special is how this beautifully fulfills Jeremiah 25.11's prophecy. You see, Jeremiah predicted that Israel would be captive for 70 years, and it happened, and now it was complete. But even more beautifully and brilliantly is Isaiah 44 and 45 predicting Cyrus would be the instrument by which Israel would be freed. Isaiah proclaimed this 150 years before Cyrus was even born. The Jewish historian Josephus writes that the king was shown this prophecy by Daniel and Ezra 1 becomes history. Isn't that just amazing? But what is even more amazing than that? Our God's heart for restoration. Verse 5 reads, then the heads of the fathers of houses of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites with all whose spirits God had moved arose to go up and to build the house of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem. When we are restored, the first true evidence of restoration is found with our desire to spend time with Jesus, to worship him and to gather with others who have been restored as well. Maybe your restoration with the Lord took place many years ago, and if so, relish it, renew it, and celebrate it today. Or maybe you find yourself far away from God today, like Israel was, in a self-afflicted exile due to sin. Freedom and restoration has been decreed for you and I as well. King Jesus has paid for our freedom on the cross. Those he has set free are free indeed. Oh yeah, being separated from him hurts his heart as well. He loves it when we spend time with him. Now return to a place of worship with our God. Get alone with him in Bible study and prayer. Find a church and gather with other believers to praise his name. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.